did you know that Florida has a native poinsettia? And I'm gonna try and tell you all about it before the sky opens up and falls on me. This is Euphorbia cyathophora, and it has a lot of different common names. Painted leaf, fire on the mountain, Florida poinsettia, wild poinsettia. It has many different common names, but it is a Euphorbia in the uh, family Euphorbiaceae. It's um, Euphorbias like milkweeds typically have milky sap to them. And that sap contains many very potent chemicals, typically, which can be very toxic or can be used medicinally, depending on, you know, quantity and how it's used and what species. And as you can see, it's very similar in appearance to the Christmas poinsettia that we use as decoration, which is actually native to Mexico. That is Euphorbia pulcherima. And uh, it's closely related to this species in the same genus. So this is the same genus as the poinsettias that we purchase for at Christmas time, but it blooms most of the year. It's an annual to short-lived perennial. So it requires, you know, disturbed soils in order to keep reseeding. This species has an interesting distribution. It occurs across the Southern United States. So the furthest north it goes is in the Midwest. It's pretty common and goes a little bit further north, but it occurs in the Southeast where we are here in Florida and a little bit north of us. And then it occurs across the Southern United States in kind of disjunct populations all the way west to California. In Florida, it mainly occurs in the peninsula and there are populations up here in the panhandle as well but there are a few um, counties that it's not vouchered in up in north florida and it occurs in a variety of habitats so it, you find it in bottom limb forests with mit, rich moist soils but it's also found in sandy soils and dunes and most um, most commonly, it's found in areas with disturbed soils because again, it's an annual or short-lived perennial. So it really relies on reseeding and reseeding plants need open exposed soils in order for them to reseed. And it's practically weedy in Florida. It, um, I did not plant it in my yard, but here it is. It pops up and I let it grow because it's a native plant that has a role in the ecosystem and lots of different species are using it. And so I definitely want it here. I just weed out the ones that are in places that I don't want them. Look at this little, oh, there's these little solitary wasps are visiting them right now, multiple different species, which are just fine. I don't mind having them here because if I just leave them alone, then they don't bother me. So the rain has started, but I want, I wanted to mention that the flowers of euphorbias are included in these structures that are called cyathea. And an individual one is called a cyatheum. And I'll pick one out here for you if I can. Here is one, cyatheum. And I'm, <laughs> the, the sky is opening up, it's starting to rain, so I won't go into details about this. Maybe I'll talk about it more next week. But I wanted to introduce you to this species, this native wild poinsettia that is very showy and very useful for our native wildlife and very easy to grow from seed. It reseeds readily and um, is commonly overlooked and underappreciated. So meet the Euphorbia cyathophora, the Florida poinsettia. I'll see you guys again next week and maybe we'll talk more about the flowers of euphorbia species.